Okay, so first off, I've started my nail design using a base coat. Today I'm using the Nail Expert Smooth Beginnings Base Coat. So I've applied that to all of my nails. Okay, so now I've already applied a base coat. I used the Nail Expert Smooth Beginnings Base Coat because you want to start any nail design off with a base coat. Now, I'm going to use as my base on my nails, or at least the ones that I'm going to do with the little dot design that I'm going to do, I'm going to be using the Nailwear Pro Nail Enamel in the sheer French pink. And since this is literally like nail collar already more or less, in order to keep that from being too faded looking, I'm going to use the Nailwear Pro Plus Nail Enamel in the French Tip White. I'm going to use that first, so that way this collar doesn't get too light and faded. And that's just a nifty little tip for anyone who gets a collar of polish and they put it on and one coat just is not, you know, true to the collar of the bottle. If you want it to look like the color in the bottle, either do a few coats of it or use a white underneath to start out with to get that color. So anyway, I'm going to start off using some of the Nailwear Pro Plus Nail Enamel in the um, French tip white here. Just going to paint that on there. To help the base to not be too faded and too soft, I took and first painted some of the French tip white down on the nails that I'm going to do my little dots on, my little dot design. And um, normally accent nails are done as the more difficult detailed nails in any nail design. But in today's nail design, I'm going to take, and these two colors right here, I'm going to paint those on this nail and this nail. So that way we can enjoy a plain, solid nail so that you can see these two colors a little better. And just to mix it up a little bit so every nail is not exactly the same. So, I'm going to be using the Speed Dry 30 Plus and the Fast Time Teal and this is one of my personal favorite nail colors. I'm going to paint that color on my pointer nail. And this is a very, very pretty color. I really, really like this color. And it's one of the speed dry colors, so it dries quicker too. And who doesn't like a color that dries quick? So, hey. And then this one here is the Speed Dry 30 Plus in the Beach and Bikini. I'm going to paint that on the ring finger. And it's just a very soft brown color. Kind of reminds you of sand on the beach a little bit. Especially since it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. Not sure if you can see that in the camera or not. But it's got a slight little sparkle to it. So anyway, we got our Fast Time Teal. And our Beach and Bikini here. And then we're going to proceed on. Now I like my colors to pop. So I'm going to do two coats of the Fast Time Teal and the Beach and Bikini because I like my colors to just pop a whole bunch. So here's the Fast Time Teal with two coats now. Then we're going to get the Beach and Bikini here. I'm going to do two coats of it. Make it kind of stand out a little bit more, be a little more bold, and there's the beach and bikini here with 
two coats and then we're going to proceed on the design now as I mentioned earlier in order for this collar to not be too faded looking I did the French tip white down first as you can see here on three nails and now I'm going to put the sheer French pink over those nails that I painted white so that we can get this collar to not be so faded. Okay, now as you can see, I've taken and done a few coats of the sheer French pink over top of the three nails that I painted white. And now you can see that it's not so faded. But that white underneath makes this color show up less faded. So anyway, proceeding on. Okay, now next we're going to take the little dotting tool here. And we're going to do some little dots. And to start off, with gonna use the fast turn too. I'm gonna just put that kind of drop it a few drops around, big drops. To just make a little bit of a puddle. And then we're going to take and using the big end of the dotting tool and again just dab at the pool here. The little, we're going to dab at the little puddle we made polish here and I'm going to start putting some dots on like such. Just very, very simple. Like such. Okay, so now using the big end of the dotting tool, I have completed the doing dots in the kill collar on all of the nails that we're going to do the dot designs on. And using just a piece of toilet paper here, just rub the color off and then you're ready for your next one. We're going to use the beach and bikini collar to take and do some big dots in that. So we're going to take, make a little puddle of some of that color. like such, then using the big end of the dotting tool, and just take and dab in that. Okay, so now using the big end of the dotting tool, sticking it in the beachy bikini color here, I've done the dots in that color on all of the nails. And then we're ready to proceed with using small dots by using the small dot end of the dotting tool. And we're going to just take and on our existing little puddles of color here, I'm going to take some more of the fast time teal, dab it out there. and taking the small end of the dotting tool I'm going to dab it into that and then I'm going to do some small dots and depending on how hard you press down and the angle depends on if you have a 
a little bit of a bigger dot or a smaller dot. All these dots on the top I just made with this. But just to show you how they vary, depending on how you press down and angle the dot control. Like such. And we're just going to mix it up. It doesn't have to be all small dots. We can kind of press down and get some little bigger dots in here. So there's our variation of dots on these nails. And just proceed on with that. Okay, so now I've proceeded on and I've done smaller dots in the five time teal color on all of the nails like such and then we're going to take and using some more of the beach and zucchini color going to get some more out like such and then using the small end of the dotting tool after having wiped off the previous color again. We're going to dab in that and get some more small dots put in this color now. And I want to mix it up a little bit so I'm not going exactly all the way to the top. I'm leaving a little bit of an open space at the top. Now on this one, since I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit, I kind of went to the top on that one side. And just continue on doing that with the little dotting tool. Very simple. Okay, so now I finished that off with doing all the dots, some big dots and some small dots on each of the three nails on each hand that I was doing the dot design on. I did some big dots and some little dots of both of the colors the beach and bikini and the fast time teal one of my personal favorite colors and just let that dry and you want to make sure it's dry very very well before adding a top coat because otherwise you're going to get the color kind of smearing and since some of the dots are bigger that means there's more polish there and regardless of whether it being a speed dry color or not you want to make sure it is very very dry before you use the top coat or it will be kind of smearing so I'm just gonna wait for a good little while to make sure these dots are fully dry before applying my top coat but you can go ahead and apply the top coat to the non-dotted nails if you want instead of waiting and putting the top coat on all the nails at once okay everyone so I put my top coat on and I've finished my nail design now got my little design going here this finger here I actually kind of bumped after I put the top coat on and it smeared it so it kind of got a little more splattery like but I actually kind of think it looks kind of cool still though but just kind of ignore that one for now and look at the others because this is the design I was going for with the little dots as you can see here even though this one is cool too with kind of a splatter dot look but it wasn't what I was really going for but anyway here's the 
final design with the top coat and everything all completely done. So, thanks for watching.